Hello, everyone. It's Qi Xiang. Today, I will bring my GSOC midterm presentation. My project is to add an AI chatbot to the chat activity. Here's the agenda for today's presentation. Here's some information about me. I'm a graduate majoring in software engineering in Nankai University. This September, I will go to the UCSD to continue my master uh, study. I'm an AI and web enthusiast, a full stack software developer, and an open source contributor. Uh, here's the project overview. This project aims to enhance Sugar Life's chat activity by adding an AI chatbot for kids. I hope that the introduction of chatbot can bring joy for young learners in chat. It would be accessible in both private and uh, neighborhood modes, which will help enrich the user experience for the young. And then I will introduce my AI progress first. This is a chatbot project architecture that I mentioned uh, in my last presentation earlier. So I won't uh, give a detailed introduction here today. These are some complete tasks for AI part. I have selected Lama 3 and uh, Gemma 2 as the models for chatbot framework in chat activity. I also have fine tuned these models and uh, I implemented some purple engineering methods uh, in my project and uh, constructed a multimodal workflow for my chatbot framework. Mm, so you can see that uh, the AI part of the work is almost complete. In the next phase, I will focus on the work of sugar part. This is a current workflow of the chatbot model framework. Due to limited computing resources, I choose a small uh, parameter model, especially Lama 38B, and fine-tuned it based on some uh, open source data size like Hugging Face or Peggle data size. Uh, however, the model sometimes fails to generate fully age-appropriate answers. Therefore, I applied a modification model to adjust the content generated by the previous model. In this case, I chose Google Gemma to 9 billion as a modification model, and uh, it performed very well. It can help modify the answer, the initial response generated by uh, the fine tuned Lama 3 8 billion. And uh, this is the current workflow for the uh, model framework in chat activity. Oh, sorry. Please wait. Uh, and then I will introduce my sugar progress. For sugar part first, I designed the chatbot UI on the basis of previous UI of chat activity. Here, I want to add a uh, chatbot on the lower left part of the interface. If you click the button, you would see that an chatbot message ap appear at the front end, at the front part of input box. If you click it again, the chatbot message would disappear. And uh, here's the actual imitation result. Uh, if you click the button, the about message would appear. If you click again, uh, this message would disappear. And then I will introduce my plan for next phase. Uh, for the next phase, I plan to focus on the work related to sugar part which is also a big task that you can see in my slide. I will try uh, the integration of chatbot, which is associated with the model deployment in AI part. 
uh, I will also implement the UI for chat activity because now uh, the chatbot UI in chat activity is still uh, not complete. And uh, then it's the uh, uh, development of the session management module. It will help uh, enhance the context uh, keeping ability for the chatbot framework. Uh, additionally, um, we will collaborate and uh, discuss model deployment in my community. Um, as it's a common challenge faced by several of our projects. So we will discuss it and uh, get a conclusion. So please stay tuned for my and our future progresses. And uh, that's all from my side. Thank you for watching. And uh, please feel free to reach out to me in Matrix channel. Thanks.